Hey guys, so I recently bought this huge collection of ancient coins, US coins, Canada coins, and a lot of them have been in PVC flips, so they've got a green sludge on them. And I thought I'd make a quick video showing you guys how to clean that up. It's actually pretty easy to do. You can either use MS-70, or you can use olive oil, or just you can use distilled water if needed, but it's gonna take a longer time to do that. So let's get started. So this is an example of the severity of the PVC damage. You can see all around the portrait of Queen Victoria. Uh, just this green slime that has appeared. And you can see them on this Morgan as well, uh, especially around the rim. It's a pretty nasty green color. It really takes away from the value of the coin too. So we're gonna try not to mess with the coin's surface and we're gonna try to take off that PVC damage in the quickest way possible. So I'll show one coin using olive oil and one coin using the MS-70 and then I'll show you guys a time lapse or something of me cleaning up the rest of the coins. And you're gonna see a huge difference on these coins once they're cleaned up. You can already see it picking up um, some of the dirt actually and the PVC along with it. Um, it looks a lot better now that I have the coin in hand. And just like that, just using olive oil, the coin is completely wiped of PVC. I see a little bit more down here. Let me get off. Um, yeah, the coin was clean before. I'm not really worried about it. Um, I'll take a little bit off the rim right here too as well. And that's it. The coin's good. Um, pre video I did do the reverse. Uh, it's actually when I got the idea to film this, so the reverse has already been done. Let's do that Morgan dollar. So now for this one, we do have a little bit of MS-70 on it, uh, not olive oil. And I'm pretty sure MS-70 works, yeah. And just like that, you can see the PVC is completely just get, got, you know, destroyed. Um, and MS-70 does not strip away the coin's patina, so you can go absolutely nuts with this. Um, go all around the coin. Um, I want it just to be safe. I'm going to get the rim as well. The rim especially on these is a problem because if they're a rare date, they're going to be um, submitted. The grading companies are going to look at the rim, and they're going to see the PVC left over that you missed. Um, and they're going to force you to either send it to conver uh, conservation or they're going to you know, body bag it and send it back. And it just is very strict on that type of stuff right now. Um, and what do you, you, you also want to be careful while you're doing this. Um, when you are cleaning up the coin, um, you're going to get a little bit of dust or dirt that's still on the coin. And if you rub too hard on the coin, it's going to create hairlines. Um, and uh, if it's a common date Morgan, I guess that doesn't really matter because this kind of stuff I'm going to be selling for silver spot down on my Instagram. Um, and of course, the ones I'm restoring, I'm not going to sell because you guys are not going to want the ones that have been restored. But if you are doing this um, and you do have some nasty PVC, it's worth it to get some all in oil or to get some MS-70 and clean these suckers up because when people are collecting bullion of course you want pleasing bullion pieces let me change my q-tip people who are doing bullion want their bullion to look nice even though it's still bullion and it's still junk silver but they're not gonna want a junk silver piece that looks nasty green sludge on it. I want you to look at that. The coin is good as new. Of course it is cleaned, but I guess, you know, cleaning is much better than a coin that has been severely encased in PVC, such as what it looked like before. It's a pleasing bullion piece now. Very pleasing bullion piece. Um, you guys can argue with me in the comments and say, don't clean coins, you ruin the value. I can guarantee 70% of the coins in your collections have been cleaned throughout its history and retoned. You can't escape cleaning. Coin cleaning has been going on forever. It just depends on how severe the coin is altered or, you know. This kind of stuff with the chemicals is not stripping off luster. 
That's what people mistake it as. Um, it's really getting the grime off of it and revealing the coin's actual surface. Um, if I was cleaning it, I'd be using something like this. Easiest coin cleaner. This stuff strips off luster, you don't wanna use it. I'm only using it for the severe cases. I have coins that are completely encased in PVC and you know, have been corroded in PVC for a while. That's it for the video. Hope you guys like the results. I'll see you guys later. Bye.